it's Sarah. Uh, I wanted to talk about these mini file folder um, albums. Um, I had seen a tutorial on YouTube um, by Michelle, The Paper Addiction. Um, she's English, I believe. Australian. Um, one of the two. European. <laughs> And so the file folders that she used are not American size, uh, like the regular old manila file folders that we used. So I just played around with it. She did redo the tutorial actually that she has to accommodate that because she was getting a lot of questions about, you know, the different size, you know, what was going on with it and everything. Um, also she used a download again which everyone knows now by now I'm into this ephemeris vintage garden the paper is just so gorgeous and so I it's actually for a journal and I think I am gonna try it I'm gonna try and tea dye some paper um, there's a couple tutorials out there I know um, Ms. Liberty 25 does one but Michelle um, the paper addiction also does do one and I think ephemeris vintage garden might have one on that too because you actually kind of like use these as your they call them it's like stations and then they're hand stitched and everything I'm not sure if I anyway what I liked about it was she made her journal out of the file folders and used the same pattern um, pattern paper so that's what what I liked about it um, mine didn't fit I don't know why I mean the size is about a four and a half by six ish is what this comes out to be when you're done let's see so like without the tab like if you went like this actually this one was the first one I made and I never finished it because I didn't ink up the inside of the pockets and I didn't I don't know there was just a couple things this was kind of my prototype um, because like I said her see I didn't ink this pocket and it was kind of too late once you glued it down and everything you couldn't really get the ink on there to look right and it would like mark it all up so I scratched this one and decided to because this paper actually was a little small well that's not a good um, I mean like there's a little smidge of room over here I guess I could have centered it a little bit but I'll just find something else to use these papers for. Or like I said, I'll make one of the journals. But the one I actually came up with, the actual, the one I kept and finished and liked, I did with uh, the Bow Bunny Country Garden Collection. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. I live very close to Michael's and AC Moore, and so... Hobby Lobby's a, it's only like a half an hour, but um, I don't go as often there. But they sell a lot of different paper brands. So I saw this and just thought it was the cutest paper if you haven't seen it. And so that's what I used on, um, I have quite a, a bit left. But that's what I used on, this is some of the pieces that I used on here, um, on the album. So as you can see, it's very, it's like about, like I said, it's four by six-ish. There is no binding. You actually glue the sections together that you make. You end up using three pieces of a file folder. And I mean, three file folders probably total because you're gonna have to cut them so that you can use the part with the tab. That's what I did anyway. I, like I said, I mean, Michelle's tutorial kind of gives you the idea of what, what to do because what she does is she cuts this like this and then you fold it in half to create like a W. So you end up, you have three W's when you're done. So it goes like this, one, well, when it's not glued together, it's a W. So this gets, this section gets glued together and creates a pocket. I, I'm not gonna do another tutorial cause she has a tutorial. Um, I mean, if you guys really need it, I can go ahead and like redo it in our measurements, you know, in US measurements, um, because it's really cool. I mean, it lays pretty flat. I like that, I mean, I didn't embellish this at all though. I mean, just the front. I really only just put, um, what is this, glossy accents on the butterflies from the paper pad, you know, and just put like flat butterflies, like fussy cut that out and put that on. But what you end up with is, 
a pocket here and then the scrap pieces that you don't use the other half of the envelope I mean of the um, of the file folder I just used for my tags and I should probably I could make journaling lines on here but I think I might cover it with paper so that goes in this pocket then you have this is actually a shipping tag that Michelle actually suggests you just um, score it and adhere it before you put the pattern paper on top so then you get this little cool extra flap for pictures and stuff and then you get this one big tab at the t um, for a regular size file folder too. So I mean you could do stamping um, or other techniques on the back of here or just for journaling but so it's pretty cool you have a lot of um, opportunity for pictures so you have that and then you then you have this whole big uh, area and this whole big area so two big ones then you start again then you have that pocket again there's a pocket this is where you attach them the two file folders get attached. Then I put this um, tag up top just to switch it up. And then you have the one, then you have this pocket again where you make the W. Then you have these two big pages again. And then you start again. So this is the third one. You have the last pocket there. And then I put my I put the tag down low again. So that when you look at it, it kind of everything evens out when you're um when you look at the book. It's pretty cool. So that's the third page, and then you just have this big two pages left, and then the back. So I really liked it. I think it's worth giving it a shot. Hers is one of the most, I think, the best tutorial out there that I've seen for the shape. It, like, I am attracted to, like, the shape of it and how it looks when you're done. Like, that's kind of what attracts me to stuff, like, the evenness of it and everything. So maybe I will put together a tutorial of how I did do this with our American um, measurements and everything because I think it's pretty cool. It's almost like, it's only like, uh, it's a half inch thick. So I don't know. I think it's really cool. But I inked everything up and it's just like I, I haven't put any fibers on it yet. So you can definitely do fibers. You could do some flat embellishments, but really you can't do too much because the spine isn't, you know, there's no um, gusseting in the spine at all. So it's really just, um, I think once you've put your pictures in here and maybe journaled a little bit or put anything else, um, it's going to be as filled as, maybe I should fill one huh, and see uh, how it turns out. But I like it. And this bow bunny paper, so, so cute. So anyway, I wanted to share that. I just put little stickers. The the pattern, the paper comes with a sticker sheet. So some of my butterflies, and they had these little like swirly do things here. So I put some of those on the tabs. I put little stickers over the holes in the tabs. Um, what else? See, this is like the swirly do thing. I just tried to cover the the tabs and more um, little round stickers. So it's kind of, it's actually a very good um, w way to use some of your stickers. If you have flatter embellishments, it's a good way to go ahead and utilize some of those because you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to bulk it up too much. But I still think it comes out really cute. It's a, I like the look of it. So for a file folder mini, I'd say try this one. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, I have one more video to tape tonight. Uh, thanks.